Hello everyone. So, you know, it's been a while since I did a video, but I wanted to tell you what I've been doing. So, last night I decided to, uh, well, actually a couple weeks ago I decided to test the capacitor for my blower fan for my furnace. And it's supposed to be 10 microfarads, and it tested as 7. So, that's kind of that's kind of weak for that thing. And what a capacitor does, yeah, I put the new one in already. It's it's like a battery. It helps start the blower motor so the blower motor don't burn out. Because a blower motor could be for labor, about 400 hours with parts and labor. And this was put in in 2016 and it's never been tested or nothing's been done to it. Um, as far as uh, a capacitor, it's only $10 off the internet. I got it at, through Walmart for 10 bucks. And this is the old one here that came with it. Let's see if I can get you to see it. This is April 21st of 2016. Here's 10 microfarads there. And that's exactly what you need. Now you don't want to touch them because you get a shock when you take them off. They're very, they got a lot of voltage in there. But uh, this one's not puffy at all or anything. Usually they get puffy when they quit working or they just get weak. Well this one was really weak so I'm just going to keep it. This is the brand that I got here. Off of Walmart. Of course, it's, it's just what it is is a metal thing, and you just hook them leads on there. So uh, this one has different leads than the other one. It's got it's got uh, um, about four or five leads on there. So you just got to hook it on each one and keep them in the right order. Top one on the top one, and the bottom one on the bottom one, and uh, it fixed it. So before, when the blower started out, went rah, 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 before it would go. You, you'll know when your blower motor is under power and struggling to start up. So let me turn off the heat and just turn the fan on and I'm going to have to press the switch. But I want you guys to hear it'll start up really fast now. Okay, so press the switch here and it should just turn on right away, the fan only. So now listen to it. It'll struggle a little bit, but that's normal. But it'll start right up. That should how that should how it should sound. It's blinking normal light. That's good. See, it, it it struggle a little bit, but that's the way it's supposed to be. But if you let it struggle too long, it'll burn the motor out and the and uh, the windings in the motor. It's not good for it. Um, mine was a little bit worse than that. Was rah, 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 before it got going. So. It's best to change a $10 part than a $400 part. Just a tip if you guys have furnaces, but you have to be very careful. Do not pull it off with your hands, these things. These capacitors got a lot of power and shut the breaker off. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do right now is it's, it's actually negative two below zero out. And I'm not gonna drive this car for a while, so I'm gonna leave this car in here. It is 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's underneath my house here. I'm going to hand wash the car and wax it because it, it's got salt. I got a little thing, I got spray underneath there to get the salt underneath there. And I got a floor drain, so don't worry about that. But I got to clean and wax this before and after video to see how dirty it is. Won't be the best professional video, but you can see it's quite dirty. And the salt is inside the wheel wells that will start to cause it to rust eventually. And back here it's really dirty as you can see it's very dirty um, if I have to go somewhere I'll drive the Mercedes or my Avalanche but for right now I want to keep this as my good car I don't want to wreck it and then I'm getting some LED high beam lights too eventually but you can see it's dirty it's not overly clean. The hood's not bad. As far as up here, it's uh, dirty too. So, it's going to take me a while, but I have nothing else to do today. So, and I'm supposed to get a lot of snow again this weekend. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to work on my skid steer. Get that thing ready. All right, this is hand washing it here. It's not the best. It still looks kind of dirty, but 
it's better than it was because if you look over here where I stopped you can kind of tell a little blurry but actually it looks pretty clean it's just reflecting from the dirty floor but I got to do all the rims yet here's the clean rim and there's the dirty rim so you can tell what difference I'm making here so I'm gonna slowly go across kind of wash it and then I'm gonna get the garden hose go underneath and spray around there in the wheel wells and get all the salt out of there because that's not good for your vehicles that's what starts rusting here up north here that's terrible for salt in the winter time it is terrible well I tell you what it's not gonna win a beauty contest but at least it's clean enough so the next thing I do is got to get the hose and spray around there and get the stuff out of there. I think I got a garden hose, but I went and uh, cleaned the windows. Look at how shiny they are. Cleaned them nice. Look at that. Them windows are clean. Look at they reflect. Missed a little down there. I got to clean that. It's just kind of walk around so you can get an idea how clean it is got to do it inside too vacuum it out and stuff a little scratches here and there well it's 11 years old I expect it not to be perfect 12 years old going on that for that many miles it's well taken care of though there okay kind of a short little walk around Looks good. See it reflects now. Mint. Okay, I waxed it. Washed it again. I think that's the best she's gonna get. It looks like it's dirty, but it's not. It's reflecting off all the mud down here. The rims are kind of washed, not the best. <clears throat> I washed the windows. You can see me in the camera. Try to get the dual exhaust as good as I could, but it's kind of tough. Mercedes has been started since Wednesday and it's Sunday today so kind of a old start kind of a cold start it's about 32 degrees so it's kind of cold we'll check the oil here it's got oil all right let's see what she does here sounding Mercedes that's for sure for the miles good. all right let's see if we can see the 8400 John Deere here I gotta get the flashlight here okay this is sitting here can't even get on that side oh he bumped the tire uh, I would start this, but it's who but the engine blocks all frosty. Highly doubt it start. Does it smell like mousy in there? No. No. I wouldn't mess with it. I wouldn't start it. I'm gonna go on this side and look at the tire here. The tire went flat here this fall. I don't know why. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't think it start. No, it might. I don't know. I don't know how good the batteries are in this thing. I don't have any idea. 4430, the batteries are dead on that thing. I know that. I try it, but I'm sure it's dead. I could, yeah, it smoked me out in here. That's the trouble. Oh, we got a oil leak in there. I don't know if you can see that, but something's leaking oil. Hmm. Can't even get over there. Right, this way. Oh yeah, the F600, the starter don't work on that, so basically you can't start any of that. There's always something that don't run. 4430, it's got frost on its block too, as you can see. You have 250 Ford, a Farmel. Case VAC and the 65 Massey. Everything's still there. And the 4020. Everything is still here. We just gotta find time to mess with it. I don't know, Katie put that on there. If anybody knows what that means, I think it's redneck something. Uh, farm hasn't been ran for a decade, I'd say. Oh, uh, I can oil like crazy. Oh, I can see daylight up there. It's probably not good. Hmm. I would say Grandpa did that. He ran into something. Well, wow, probably 30 years ago. This truck is still in mint condition. No rust on it at all. Can I try to open up this door? Sure. I don't think there's any mice in there. Go ahead and open it. I think it's show. Oh, there's a mouse nest right there. Oh yeah. There's a mouse nest. There's been mice in there, hasn't there? It says 57,000 miles, but I'm sure that's rolled over a few times. Four speed F250 Ford. This is what I drove when I was nine years old. Learned how to drive. It has no uh, power steering air conditioner and just has heater and I think it has FM radio on it. I don't know. Sure smells mousy in there. You can shut the door. Well, that tire is finally going flat. It's been many years. I didn't think that thing would ever go flat. All right, so I talked to my dad about this truck and we need to get it under video for you guys and start her up, but uh, last fall we discovered that it leaked all the coolant out of it, so I don't know, hope it didn't hurt it. and leaked all out down there and it's uh, been sitting since whatever, I last did that video in 2017. And that was old start for four years it sat. Going on three years or whatever, two or three years, whatever you call it. It's been sitting 855 Cummins diesel with the air starter. And you can see the massive big block in there. It's a 290, I think it's 290 some horse or something. I don't know what it is, but anyway. 1980s Freightliner dump truck. Been sitting here, we don't ever use it. Travel with these old things when they sit, then they decay away, and, and then you have to spend a lot of money to get them running properly and safely again. And just don't know if we're gonna do that. I don't know. Probably just end up selling it or something. Here's the old uh, Tacoma. It's still sitting there. Never. I don't think anything's ever gonna get done to it. I'm actually just thinking about uh, using parts out of it and letting it sit. I have never looked in here to see if there's any mice in here or anything, but. Rusted. I'm sure the frame is bad on here. It don't smell like mice in here. But uh, if the engine wasn't bad, I'd be driving this thing. Goes through the other gears pretty good. Sitting there. And 
It said the transfer case worked on it, so I don't know. Too high. And leave it in neutral. I don't really matter. The thing isn't going to go anywhere. I got a key, but you know, it, no battery and a starter don't work. Oh. oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm just taking the rest off the door. There you go. Here's a camper my dad got a while ago, but it got some damage and we're gonna try to fix it. Quite a bit of damage. Didn't pay very much for it. It's really nice inside. My brother wants to show you it here. This is his favorite thing here. It's not plugged in here, is it? Mm -hmm. We don't have the thing to plug it in. Well, we can plug it. Let me get my light from my phone here. Okay. Stay. Uh, that's okay. You can go ahead and go there. But uh, it's got a radio. The air conditioner works in there. I don't know about the heat. That's in very good shape in here. It's got a fridge in here. It's got a little bed in here. Nice little oven. You can take and go hand cap it sometime. And it's got a. You can open that up maybe for me. That door hits that light up. Hits there. that light up here a little bit. Nice little. Toilet area, sink, and shower. Not bad shape in here. It's structurally sound. Kind of a little area to sleep in here. That's where that thing got in that accident. But really, it's not bad shape in here. Here. That's an, I'm gonna show something. I'm gonna show something. This right here that lifts up. Oh yeah, it does, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's where that. Store stuff or something probably. Yeah. yeah, see this is a nice area so you can have your internet and hot spot and Sit out here and camp and have it heated. This took, house turns into a bed too. Yeah, and we took this bed out so mice wouldn't get in there and chew it up and stuff um, But yeah, it's There's the old Mod Model A putt-putt over there guys got to get that going sometime too But uh, yeah, this is a nice little camper here Took them out too so the mice wouldn't get to it. There's a little propane heater down there. Here's the fridge. Nice little fridge here. Nice fridge made in USA. Sewer vent in there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that camper there. And so yeah, that's about the end of that. Okay, my brother wants to show you this. Little cook stove out here. Nice outdoor cook stove. You hook your propane thing up to it and cook outside. And then it's got a little awning on top that you can put down and cook. It's got some really good tires on there. Sportsman camper. Oh, and then it stems out on the other side too. It's got like an electric extender that goes out. You get it? Slide out, in. You want me to get it? Okay. Uh, slide out here. This is probably out so far. I think it goes out further, but it only slides out just a little bit. Meow. Kitty. Meow. Where you at? Are you inside the thing? Is she? Can't hear them stupid birds. Yeah, I know. Well, oh yeah. We're trying to get a cat out of here in this machine thing here. I'm trying to help get it out, so it's hard to talk here. There's mama cat in there. See her there? Come here. I'm gonna try to get her out. <laughs> 